Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Blue Lightning on the Atari Lynx, released by Epix in 1989. It was one of the first games released on the system, and I did have it back in the day. Now, you got to remember, oh, boring random fact, the bloke who programmed this, or the head programmer, was also one of the people who helped develop the Lynx. Now, the Lynx is kind of considered, that looks lovely, by the way, kind of a failed system. I had one back in the day. I had the big, huge one that gobbled up batteries, you know, like, like you wouldn't believe. But it was 16-bit, the screen wasn't too good, but you know, it's a pretty impressive system. So this on that looked absolutely fantastic. Uh, and I did actually have the game. And it's funny, because I do remember reading a review of it in a magazine, and they said, oh my god, its graphics are amazing, it's better than Afterburner in the arcade. Which is kind of a bold statement, uh, especially since it's running on a small screen. I would say you take into mind what this would be on a smaller screen. It's certainly better than the home port to Afterburner. Now, basically, <clears throat> there was a um, wasn't there one of the few games that came out for the the Jaguar CD? There was a version of this on that that I believe is Pants. But <clears throat> anyway, think Afterburner, Lone Jet Fighter, because as we know in the 80s and 90s, armies and then um, you know air forces and stuff like that, they didn't they didn't fuck around or anything like that. You know, they just, just pick your best pilot and send him on his own. <laughs> Funny, that bloke's name was Cock. Sorry, <clears throat> let's get into it. So you've got Vulcan's missiles, missiles lock on very much like Afterburner, um, and then you've got Roll. Look at that, that's epic. I don't know, I think the plane's completely fabricated, but it does look tasty and delicious. Now, it's funny, you get up to speed, which is out of your hands, and then you press up. But then if you keep pressing up, you go down, because once you take off, <clears throat> the controls reverse to, you know, standard invert. Now, this is where it's better than Afterburner home ports, because, again, it's blocky because it's on a small screen. But look at the details on the floor. Oh, train track. That's awesome. Very limited sound. No, um, tintastic sound, in fact. No music, which is a shame. I don't know what the limitations or the storage was of the unit, but... This and Electric Cop were probably my favourite games, because they both featured sprite scaling, which it could do quite well on the links, may I add. May I add? Jesus, I just turned into a thespian. Right, floor just, that's my pad squeaking. Floor just changed. Now you can't crash into the floor, look, see? But you can crash into the obstacles. That look like a stealth bomber. <clears throat> if it is, and I'm wasting them like this, think of the dent in that military's wallet. Right, look, I'll show you. You can crash into these things. That's tasty, that explosion's lovely. Scaling explosions, rule. Right. Oh, well, I have to take off again. It doesn't start with your mid-flight. Oh, yeah, you've got your lives above me. <clears throat> Score on the right, and on the left is missiles. Now, interesting thing about missiles is once you fire for each of the four missiles, you've got that many missiles underneath, which is kind of an interesting way to display it in, you know, the heads up. But it plays a nice game. It, oh, I forgot roll. It is graphically quite nice, especially when you see the plane like that. Maybe if the links had better battery life and didn't cost the same as a lung, in the 80s, then it would have been more successful. Look, there you go. Roll. Sweet. And you can just keep pressing it. It's not like 1942 or anything where you've only got a few. <clears throat> to be honest, has anyone shot at me yet, uh, needing me, you know, involving me, me to need to roll? I don't know. Sweet. Yeah, like I said, heads up, incoming. Um, no, that's not what I said. It's. Oh, they do fire. Fuck it. I'll take everything back I just said. On a small screen, this looks absolutely wonderful. <clears throat> now, I have to chase them in a minute if memory um, serves me correctly. Obviously, I've got unlimited Vulcan guns. There you go, chase and destroy. Chase me! Or oh, just shoot you. Just wait for them to fly. Why would you fly in front of someone shooting? You know what? I know it's a fucking video game, but what is this, the French Air Force or something? Sorry, France. Just, you know, based out on black hatter jokes. I do like the fact that it goes red when you lock on. And, oh, more incoming. Oh, I'm not chasing. And uh, the smoke effect from the, uh, the missiles is epic. 
Oh, they're flying straight at me. That's not incoming. That's kamikaze. Would have been cool if they put some unlockable planes in this or something. So you could have, like, bike planes and shit and Spitfires. Don't know why I'm saying that. It's an old game that never would have happened. It just popped in there. Maybe I'm confusing it with modern games, and that's why. <clears throat> Where they do such things, is what I'm saying. Where are you going? So I haven't got fuel, which is quite cool. Right, look at the wreckage. That is a nice effect when the wreckage goes down. But here's an idea, though. Right, when I fire... Yeah? Why doesn't the missile just leave and then replenish, if you know what I mean? Again, I'm being too harsh on such an old game. Why am I bringing modern gaming standards to it? Right, anyone else? It's got awfully quiet. Must be a, a no-fly zone. Like I said, I do like... Oh, the ground effects. That looks really, really nice. I tell you what, there's a lot of trains in this country, isn't there? Public transport all the way. Sweet. Like I said, you know what? It's very linear, but the thing is, so is Afterburner. And I mean, ooh! I'm assuming, look, they're all in synchronization. They practice in swimming pools. Oh, fuck. Good job there, Roll. Are you going to bump me all the way back? No. Interesting. Oh, how does that work? Ooh, death from above. So basically, my new tactic is shoot the fuck out of everyone. You made it. And, um, rather than waiting to rob, better land. <clears throat> this is your captain speaking. Uh, that's my, um, family guy joke, sorry. Alright, prepare to land. Oh. Am I just going to land on the sand? Nope, I was just going to say. Risky much. Anyway, I'm going to call it quits there. Blue lightning on the Atari Lynx. This was a real blast from the past. Super limited. It is what it is. But as I said, if you had it on the Lynx, it looked epic. Hey, like the people who made it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.